Well, it's amazing who you find in the paddock at Lydon Hill, and I'm delighted now to catch up with World Rally Cross driver Liam Duran. Lovely to see you at Lydon. Welcome. How are you doing? Thank you very much. Uh, happy to be here. Oh, good, actually. It's nice to be back at a track. It's been a uh, been a while. It's actually still going on for a while, but you know, off season's long at the moment with the coronavirus situation. So. Uh, Good to be back. Yeah, nice to be back racing, especially at Lyndon Hill. This is a special circuit, isn't it? Special circuit for everyone, especially me. But yeah, it's a special circuit for everyone. I think it's uh, you know it's always been known as the home of rallycross, and it's always got a great atmosphere um, and always puts on good racing. So uh, yeah, it's it's great to be here. Now we have to talk about Rosie, who's having a complete overhaul <laughs> and transformation she is looking mighty fine if you don't mind me saying how did this all come about then it's um it actually this car is was the um the origin or let's say the background behind why our liveries are the way they are so the way that the way the rx cartel liveries are from both on the audis and the renaults are, are themed around this car because it's basically from my childhood i wanted to keep that that theory but only we change colors and so um, Dad wanted me to drive the car here this weekend, um, just to help promote the fact that spectators are coming back to the event and so on, just to try and help the, 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 the cause, let's say, and I'm always happy to drive it, of course, <laughs> no complaints on my part, um, but I figured it was a good way to, to make a bit of a difference, promote my sponsors, obviously, which I'm racing this year, um, and give everyone something different to look at, which is great to put these colours onto the car that themed the colour scheme anyway. Yeah. I think it looks pretty good, yeah. It's a little bit not as retro as maybe the retro cars are, but... Um, it's cool, none the same. I think it's looking pretty retro. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it's looking amazing, the livery here. And you must be really excited to get out on the track. Yeah, it's uh, especially in this car. It's, I mean, it's obviously I'm a little bit biased because I've grown up around it, but uh, it's a fantastic car. It's still the best car I've ever driven. And it's for different reasons. It's not because it's the nicest car or the easiest car to drive, but it is the best car to drive. It's so, so satisfying to drive. When you get around the lap, you have to just, phew, I made it around the lap. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's really good. It's really fun to drive. and. Uh, especially the sun's out and there's people here again, so it's great. Well, you mentioned the spectators. It's been a tough old year, but it's so refreshing to see people coming through the gates. Yeah, it seems like the go-to comment when you get to see any interviews in motorsport these days, like, I can't believe there's spectators <laughs> here. Like, thanks everyone for coming. <laughs> you know, we used to sort of grow, grow I've grown up doing motorsport and it's just kind of an expectation. You take it for granted that you race and people come and watch you. And we've gone through two, almost two years now of seeing no one. I did the whole series last year and saw my mechanics and that's it the entire year. And no, nothing against them, but it does take the, it definitely does take the edge off of why you're racing and, and the excitement and get a good result and come in and you pat yourself on the back and it's, it's not the same. So it really is great to see people back and enjoying it like we do, because I think that's kind of the, the idea of most. We all, we all, we do it because we love it. People want to watch it because they love it. People drive the cars because they love it and so everyone's in together. So uh, great to be doing it for the first time back here at Lydon and the sun's out as well. So winning. Yeah, we're one big happy family, aren't yeah. we, in the motorsport yeah. world. And, yeah. and what about the season? How's it shaping up for you? It's not shaping up as best as it probably could. I think it's a little bit of, um, bah, I guess coronavirus is still playing its effects on organisers and championships and stuff. So it's very difficult for everyone, um, for teams, for drivers, for sponsors and for organisers are all kind of trying to get their stuff together. Um, and it's not as, 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 as come together as well as I think everyone would have hoped it could have done. But um, I'll pull something together, none of that, always, always do manage to pull something together. But, um, I'll make, I'll make something out of it uh, for sure. It's obviously starting very late this year um, and it will finish very late this year, which will run into next year, which will be a little bit awkward because I think there'll almost be one and a half seasons going together. Hopefully, if we go back to complete normal next year would be the hope. Um, but it's coming together um, and I'll be racing. Well, it's always a pleasure to see you at Lydon Hill. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> Thank you for having me.